Look guys, I know, I know, I know. I keep complaining about Vanguard and ranting about it, and you're still seeing it in the background, I'm still playing the game. I'm sorry, what a horrible crime I'm committing, okay? I I'm sorry, I truly apologize. But I just hope that some of you taint eaters out there, I just hope you guys can appreciate the Scat Master, because on any given day, Vanguard has an average player count of 27. When the Scat Master is playing the game, that player count goes up to 28. I personally think you guys should be thanking me for helping contribute towards keeping this game alive as long as possible. And I know some of you guys hate when I'm overly negative and I say a lot of mean things, so I'm gonna do something nice in this video. I'm gonna go this entire video without saying a single curse word. I'm not gonna say a curse word towards Activision, towards Sledgehammer, towards Call of Duty, towards anything. However, I just saw the news for Vanguard Season 4 Reloaded and uh, Activision and Sledgehammer. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna say it. Fuck you! Guys, the Scat Master obeys absolutely fucking nobody, okay? If I'm gonna shit on the game because I'm the Scat Master, that's what I'm gonna do. Activision and Sledgehammer Games eat my scat. Let's pull this up, alright? This comes from Call of Duty's Twitter account. Once a battleground for the living, Warzone and Vanguard are about to be swarmed by zombies and overrun by machines in Mercenaries of Fortune Reloaded launching on July 27th. And these are the operators we're getting. We're getting this random guy here on the right, we're getting the two Terminator operators, and then we're getting... I don't know what this is. What is this? Is this a wolf? Is it a dog? It looks like Wolf from fucking Star Fox. Sledgehammer, what is this? See, this is my thing about Sledgehammer games, okay? And I know I talk about them quite a bit on the channel, and I talk about them more than I do about Treyarch and even the Infinity Tards. You guys know, I don't like the Infinity Tards, I don't like Joe Seacott, but Sledgehammer games, what are you guys doing? You literally know your game is ass. You know that more people are hyped about Warzone. Season 4 Reloaded is literally more packed in Warzone than it is for Vanguard multiplayer. And yeah, you can blame Activision, but when it comes to Sledgehammer games, with what little content you are supposedly being allowed to put out, why are you wasting your time creating whatever the fuck that is. It's a fucking furry- y you know what? Hold on, hold on. I'm sending this wolf to the fucking gulag, man. I haven't done this in a long time. Guys, allow me to introduce to this wolf my double barrel dragon breath shotguns, okay? You guys know what's about to happen. Wolf, dog, furry, fox, whatever the fuck you are, go straight to the gulag and do not come back, stay in there. This is the updated gulag squad, okay? We have Joe Seacott, Bobby Cosby, Hitch, Sledgehammer Games, Lil Jon, Plexify, and now we have this disgusting operator. Welcome to the Gulag. Aside from that, guys, let's talk a little bit about Season 4 Reloaded, okay? And I'm gonna be honest, there's not much to talk about, and this is also my gripe with Sledgehammer Games, is there's just no reason for this to continuously happen. Every single season, every single update, there's always just the most minimal amount of anything, specks of dust of content that they're giving us. And for what reason? You know your game is literally on its deathbed right now. People are craving MW2 news. People are craving the beta for that game to come out, even the alpha. And you morons have the audacity to give us... I don't even know what these operators are. But on top of that, you are giving us one map called Desolation, Demolition... I, I don't remember what it's called. It, it, that map was previewed on the Season 4 roadmap with USS Texas in one entire season, mind you. I, I don't know how long it'll be before Season 5 comes out, but I'm pretty sure there's like over a month left. You have given us two maps in this entire season. One of them is USS Texas. And this isn't the first time they've done it. They did it for Season 2, Season 3, and here in Season 4, they're doing it again. They made us wait, I don't know, like a month and a half, maybe two months. I don't know how long it's been. It feels like it's been forever. And now we're barely getting the second map of this season before we get another two maps, possibly, in Season 5. That type of shit is just pathetic, okay? There is no roadmap for the Season 4 Reloaded update yet. I'm assuming that's coming out next week. Let's do some predictions. 
We're gonna have that dusty ass map. We're gonna have this disgusting furry anime con costume operator that you probably have to pay for. We're gonna have the Terminator bundles that obviously you have to pay for. And then another operator, which I'm pretty sure is actually coming for free. If I'm not mistaken, we're getting like one or two new weapons, I think. Possibly a new game mode, but I doubt it. And then other than that, we're getting some playlist rotations, and that is absolutely it. There is nothing else about this update. Oh yeah, maybe some zombies content. I don't know, they kind of went out of their way to make Shino Numa. Obviously, if people weren't complaining, that would have never been on the table. Personally, I think they squeezed the last bit of juice out of Treyarch to make that map a thing. Other than that, Zombies content is probably going to be lackluster like it was before. Multiplayer content is lackluster as always. And then when it comes to Warzone, you guys know how it goes. Warzone gets all of these nice little events, all of these nice new game modes a new fat ass map, tons and tons of advertisement and promotions and bundles and all of these crossovers. And then we have Vanguard with uh, fucking nothing. Sledgehammer, what are you doing? What are you doing? And granted, I know, I know. We knew that we were only getting two maps in this season back whenever season four was first announced. And it's not like they're just gonna magically add something, but oh wait, as a developer for a game that is dying, I think you can fucking do that. I'm pretty sure Treyarch did it last year with random remasters of maps that people weren't asking for. They gave it to us anyways. They saw there was a lack of content. They just put it out. Sometimes they weren't even on the roadmap and they just came out. Sludgehammer, I just don't understand why you can't do anything like that for the community that is still playing your game. Even though there's people like myself that don't like your game, we are still playing your game. We are still giving your game a livelihood. And aside from people like me, there's actual fans of this shit. Believe it or not, there are people who legitimately like Vanguard and you are giving them specks of dust for content. Guys, at, at this point, I don't even know what to say other than Sledgehammer, just eat my scat. Eat the Scat Master's feces. Your game is just absolutely atrocious. There are still server problems in this goddamn game, man. Still bugs, visual bugs, it happens to me all the time. If you go in the replies of their tweet, there's videos of people showing their execution animations not working properly. Things that they actually paid for, by the way. And I know the Gooch Lickers, they're coming fast as shit right now. Oh my god, look, he's still uploading Vanguard even though he hates it. Just for views, huh, food? Just for views. Shut the fuck up. I'll put your sorry rodent ass in the gulag with this goddamn furry costume. Just shut up, alright? Sorry for wanting your top 5 COD to be a better COD. Sorry for directing my attention to the developers of this god-awful game and telling them how it is. Your game sucks. It blows cock. It could be much better. With the launch that this game had, you would expect it to be like a mid-tier COD at best. This game is literally a bottom three Call of Duty of all time. Just based on the lack of content, the lack of communication, the amount of bugs, the amount of horrible server problems, the amount of resources spent and wasted on bundles rather than actually making the gameplay good. And let's not forget about that guys, you guys know for a fact, as soon as those Terminator bundles come out, take a guess as to what type of video I'm about to make on it. I said this back in season 3 whenever the whole Gorilla vs Lizard event came out, the best slash most focused part about that entire season was going to be the bundles for that event and for that crossover. It is the exact same shit for season four reloaded. We have two Terminator bundles and probably for that disgusting wolf, a third bundle that you need to pay for in a single update where we're getting one map. Let that sink in guys. Activision, fuck you. Sledgehammer Games, you can make this game moderately decent at best and you just simply choose not to. Every single opportunity you get, you just don't do it. Sledgehammer games, eat my fucking scat. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Do you think season four Reloaded is gonna be good in any way, shape, or form? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very